Welcome to part 10 of the DO2 Ween series. Oh day, in part 10, we're going to take it further by creating sliding button animations using DO2 Ween's DO anchor pause function. We'll make buttons smoothly slide into the screen from off screen positions. A great way to add polish and motion to your UI, menus, and make them feel more dynamic. Now we'll use DO Tween's DO anchor pause method to animate UI elements. Unlike regular transforms, UI elements use rec transform so we need to animate their anchored positions to move them around. We position our buttons off-screen, typically to the left, so they're hidden when the scene starts. Then we animate each button to slide into its final position using a smooth easing function called Ease Out Back. To make things even better, we add a slight delay between each button's animation. This staggered effect feels natural, guiding the user's eye from one button to the next. Let me walk you through the code. We loop over an array of buttons and save each button's target anchored position. Then, we immediately set their position off-screen to the left. Finally, we animate each button back to its target spot with a set duration, easing, and increasing delay. You can customize the speed, the easing style, and how much delay you want between buttons, making this approach very flexible for different UI designs. This sliding animation isn't just for buttons, you can use it on any UI element like panels, images, or text, to create stunning entrance effects. Before we finish, remember, good UI animations should be subtle and enhance usability, not distract or annoy the player. Now let's hit play and watch our buttons smoothly slide in, one after another, making the menu feel lively and polished. If needed, we can easily adjust the speed and delay to get the perfect timing for our UI. We'll learn how to smoothly fade UI elements in and out using DioTween's DioFade function combined with Unity's Canvas Group component. Canvas Group is perfect for controlling UI transparency because it affects the entire group of UI elements, including images, texts, and buttons all at once. First, make sure your UI panel or menu has a Canvas Group component attached. We'll animate its alpha property, which controls the opacity from zero fully transparent to one fully visible, or vice versa. And that's a wrap for this last part of our do 2 ween series. I hope you found everything useful and enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and supporting the channel. If you want to see more tutorials, just let me know in the comments. Take care, and happy coding.